you Sunday. Good morning, everybody. Oh. Hope everybody's having a great day. Day after Christmas. And I'm back from the beach. I had a wonderful time. And let me tell you something. There were a bunch of people at the beach. Oh my God, there was hundreds and hundreds I, uh, it was so windy yesterday that you couldn't fish at the shore so uh, or on the beach. It was just too, too windy, 20, 30 mile an hour winds. So I elected to go to the pier where, let me tell you something, a bunch of fish was caught there, whitings especially. You know, good size, good size fish. Uh, I hooked into a stingray and a bunch of pinfish. And we were at the end of the pier because I, it were, everybody was catching it was at, right there at the coast. Uh, right there at the shore, uh, there was just 20, 30 people, and everybody's lines was getting tangled. And I said, you know what, for me to enjoy this, it is windy, but it was warm. Let me tell you, it was definitely warm. So I went to the end of the pier and just hooked up with a couple guys down there, and we all just hung out for, God, six hours, uh, you know, using cut bait, trying to catch for some big stuff. And, you know, I had a bunch of bait stolen. But that's about it. But it still caught some fish, not much. But here's what we gotta do today. This is tradition. Hope you can see that. Oh man, look at that. That's a nice big old uh, uh, pork steak ready shoulder butt. All natural. And uh, it was a it was a pretty good deal. I saved $4.37 on it. Not too bad. Well, I'm getting ready to cure it, so I might as well pull this thing on out of here. Yeah, there we go. And let's see what I've got. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm going to use right there. I'm going to use my Sweet Baby Ray Sweet Teriyaki. Now, let's see. Sometimes I have Hawaiian. Uh, it's another version of it, but I like this too. It's uh, got a lot of pineapple. You can see that right up there, pineapple and everything sweet. So that'll be a good cure for it. And I think I've got the right container. Ah, yes. There it is. I can reach the damn thing. Oh, there we go. Perfect. There we go. That's what I'm going to cure it with. And... We'll get this thing ready to go. Now, this is the, the smoker one of my customers gave me. He used it one time, and for whatever reason, he just didn't, I don't know if he didn't like it or he just didn't want it, or uh, he didn't realize it was a smoker and how long it takes to cook with these. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fire it up real quick with the match light because that'll start instantly, and then feed uh, the Kingsford on it so I don't have to use any, you know, liquid uh, uh, fire starter, even though I know that's got chemicals in it. But then I'm going to go down to the store real quick, because it is Sunday. Every, everything is open, so I'm going to go run to the store and grab some hickory chips and get that uh, put in there, too. And by, oh, I don't know, how long does it take to cook something that weighs, you know, six or seven pounds, eight pounds? what about six seven hours something like that it's got to be smoked for a while and worst case scenarios i'll throw it in the oven at 400 for for you know an hour after that and, and i know damn well it's going to be cooked now considering that i've changed my diet and everything i'm not obviously going to eat this whole thing so what i'm going to do is cook it i'm going to cut me off a couple of big slices just for tradition's sake and then i'm gonna give the rest of the neighborhood uh, I got some friends around here that love this kind of stuff. So, you know, whatever. But yeah. This will uh, this will be fun. And we'll see how this goes here real quick. Yeah, the, the beach was fun, let me tell you. And see, this got this nice little thing in it. But uh, the beach is fun. It's just a place... I don't have to catch anything or I don't have to do anything. It's being there. That, for me, that's all it is, just being there. Uh, it, 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 takes, it takes a lot off your mind. Okay, let's see what we can do with this bloody thing. Let's open up, bleed the, 
the blood out of it. Yeah. I think the gym's open today too. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. I might even might even go to the gym today. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Yeah. Nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Pig's blood. Just run some water over it. Get the get the blood out of it. Okay. And what I normally do uh, with a piece of meat this big, and I'm sure you guys all have your own methods of uh, preparing it. But uh, let's get this down here. There you go. Get that deep towel there, absorb some water. And the first thing I want to do is trim off the successive fat, obviously. knife real quick. All right. And I've got some spices. Uh, salt. And let's see. This, this this has got pepper in it and and salt and a few other things it's actually made for steak but if you use light I'm just going after the pepper that's in it because I don't have any any pepper so let's cut this fat off Look at that. That's almost like bacon right there, see? Looks good. See, I quit eating meat, red meat, like I told you guys. Um, but I still do a little bit of pork. There we go. Get that big portion of fat out of there. Oh, uh, look at this. Looks like risotto, huh? Risotto. Smoked that, huh? It's still a little frozen. It's been, in, it's sitting in the refrigerator. This has been sitting in the refrigerator for, uh, I don't know, two days, two and a half days. Today's Sunday. I pull it out Friday morning. Okay, now the one thing I want to do here is I'm going to try, because this is frozen, this is a big piece of meat, is I'm going to cut this thing in half. Mm. 
might be a little tougher than yeah right in here is pretty frozen over here is pretty pretty still so I have to break out the old big meat cleaver here I didn't want to make this into a big ordeal but I just want to show you how I'm getting this thing ready to go to uh, get ready to get smoked If you don't have one of these cleavers, you ought to get them. There we go. We're getting close. We're getting close. You know what? There, I think there's a bone in there. There's a strong chance I'm going right across that bone. And I think that's exactly what it is. What I want to try to do is break this thing down. But let's see, let's see, let's see. Whatever it is, it's solid. But yeah. Yep, yeah, there it is. There's a big old bone. I can already see it. So what we want to do now, you'll think I'm a hack here doing all this, but the reason why I want to break this thing down a little bit. This is kind of like an amateur, amateur cooking show. Try to get around this bone here. piece right there. Beautiful. Now let's see what else we can get out of this thing. If I throw part of it away, I don't care. That's not my intentions today. Because I don't want to uh, be slaving, be slaving on the, in the kitchen all day long. All right. Like I said, I could have put this whole thing on there, but it had been seven hours before we uh, even begin thinking about eating this, especially with smoker. Man, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. This bone runs all through this thing. You can see it right there, that big old shank bone, hip bone, whatever. I'm going to leave this piece as is. There we go. All right, let's clean up this area real quick. We'll get ready to salt it and put it in. today or doing something. All right, let's get this thing up. Sorry this video is long. I just decided to do a, a kind of show you. And since I'm not a professional cook, uh, by no stretch of the imagination, 
Uh, I don't have all this stuff prepped so it looks all fancy on video and shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's take the small piece first. And there's a chance. This small piece here is actually a really good size for me. Um, let's salt it. Both sides. Here we go. Now the sweet baby rays. And also, too, that bone is where it's frozen. So what I'm going to probably do, and that way, this has been sitting in a freezer for about four months. It was time to, it was time to cook it. Okay? It was just time to cook it. Okay, you see I go through a lot of paper towels. Okay, next, just a little bit of this, not much. Just to get the pepper. I'm trying to use the stuff I've got without going out and just buying a bunch of crap. There we go. And that's it. Now this will give it a heavy peppery taste, which is what I want, but the salt will draw the moisture out. This is already thawed. That's frozen as a rock still. So, what I'm gonna do, hell, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but let's see if I got a big enough container for this thing. What I'll do is when I find one of my one of my neighbors, I'll just give this to them. There we go. That'll solve the problem right there because I don't want to throw it away. And being and being that it's still partially frozen, it could sit in the refrigerator for another day and it won't hurt it at all. Clean up the mess. And there she goes. There it is. That looks pretty good. Okay. All right. Get in a close up of that. And we're going to go ahead and put that in the smoker. <clears throat> and it won't take half as, it won't take near as long either. That's the big thing. This way I can wrap it up in about four hours, maybe four and a half. And uh, it, it, it's like only uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I actually slept in because I drove through the night uh, to get home last night. And when I got home, I really took a shower and went to bed. It wasn't a whole lot more I could do. It was just a long, long day because I woke up at five o'clock yesterday morning, you know, spent all day out there in 20, 30 mile an hour winds fishing, standing on my feet. And uh, then I had to drive all the way back, but it was fun. All right, guys, love you. You know that 
have a wonderful safe day and uh man i might even uh do are you hungry video this evening when i get this thing done talk to you later